Yo, what is up, boys? Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I, what, how I am going about trying to become taller and what you can do in order to replicate me in order to try to become taller, especially if you're a teenager. Especially if you're a teenager. If you're an adult over the age of, a male over the age of 21, and a female over the age of 25, then bro, it's going to be tough for you, but it's still possible if you do dead hand stretches. But what I'm doing to get taller is sprinting. And jumping exercises, I'm doing circuit exercises, push pull exercises, but for the most part, to be sprinting, skipping, and burpees. Those are the three big exercises I'm being super consistent with in order to try to maximize my height. And I've already grown two centimeters since January. You don't, you don't need to believe me. I, I can, I'm driving pictures? I don't have any pictures. Unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry for the scruffy hair. I just finished spring. It's only like 40 minutes of the shower. So I'm doing it's it's scientifically known that sprinting increases your HGH human growth hormone by two thousand percent up to that. And if you sprint eight times when you sprint, rest, sprint, rest, sprint, rest, sprint, rest, eight times, you know, in one set, one session. You can increase your uh, HGH by 771%, and I guess you could refer to these videos here that I'm about to show you. 771%? Any ideas? Sprinting. We're only talking 20 to 30 seconds. And then you want to rest for 90 seconds, okay? And then you want to repeat this and work up to about eight times. So sprinting can be twice as effective as injecting human growth hormone. So would you like to know the exercise? That Twice as effective as injecting human growth hormone. Let's just touch on HGH real quick. I don't know. About the, I forgot about the nine second rest thing though. Eight times. I didn't realize the nine second rest. I've been doing just max stress and rest and max stress and rest and max stress and rest. Just trying to catch my breath again. The nine seconds, I'm not sure about that, but HGH. What is. Ain't no way they're selling HGH. Bro, this is. This is steroid. Why are they selling it? Of course, doctor only. Growth hormone or soma trophin, also known as human growth hormone in human form, is a peptide hormone that stimulates growth, cell reproduction, and cell regeneration in humans and other animals. That's what I find. <laughs> it is thus important in human development. Sprinting HGH. Advantage one growth hormone. Sprinting encourages our body to release more hormones than it would, pos would be possible with moderate running or leg training. A study has shown that sprint training can increase production of human growth hormone HGH by up to 2000%. Is this dude? Is this dude? Dr. Eric Berg. And boosting your human growth hormone. No matter how small, no matter how increment, it can be 100%, 200%, 300%, like, like he says before, 771% or 2000%, you can heavily increase your height. I feel like I'm so much taller than I was before. I feel like I'm, when I walk, I feel taller. It could be placebo effect, sure, but I genuinely feel as if I'm taller, I'm stronger, I'm faster, my cardio is better, my heart is better, my organs, my, my, my entire blow of organs that are around here. It used to hurt like crazy, and my abs used to die, and my heart used to like, palpitate a little bit. I think, but when I'm consistently sprinting, that's fine. I sprint, I sprinted yesterday and the day before, and today as well. I've seen one massive high gains. I feel much taller. Two increased cardio, increased strength, and I just feel so good in general because of yeah. I just sorry, thanks to adrenaline. Adrenaline endorphin release, and because of the the runners high. I don't know what exactly that does. Let me search it. What is runners high? I just feel like elated. As you hit your stride, your body releases a hormone called endorphins. Popular culture identifies this chemical as behind runners high. A short lasting, deeply euphoric state from an intense exercise. Bro, it is so like. How do I say this? It's so. Especially as a teenager, this is exactly what you can do. What are the benefits of your? Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just let's just read this. Better oxygenation, duck, 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 duck. in a nutshell, okay, in a nutshell, nice. Advantage one, growth hormones. Sprinting encourages the body to release a lot more hormones than it would 
be possible with moderate running or leg training. A study has shown that sprint training has increased the production of human growth hormone HGH by up to 2000%. The best thing about it is not about stress muscle training, but all other muscles benefit from growth hormones. As a result, they will acquire musculature in the body and grow more efficiently. In addition, the hormone acts as the foundation of youth and is therefore an optimal anti aging helper. So, sprinting is for everyone. I want you to do increasing strength. Sprints not only increase whole growth hormones, but they also activate youth and form the so-called fast twitch fibers, which are responsible for short, fast and powerful movement, especially useful in boxing. That's why boxers sprint. This is significantly improves the athlete's maximum strength. This gives them the ability to release more strength by heavy weight exercise, such as leg press. And once you throw burning, yeah, we know fat burning. But this is the most important part that everyone cares about. Hey man, I've never seen this before. This is legit, it looks like it's legit. What the? I just saw growth hormone 2000%. Ain't no way. 38% testosterone. God damn. Ain't no way. Sprinting's OP. This investigation provides an insight into the physiolog physiological, physiological changes produced and processes operating during and after typical interval exercise and training regime. The role of interval exercise in modulation of plasma concentration of sex hormone binding globulin SH SHBG and hormones. What the? B O Ostradiol, ostradiol, testosterone, prolactin, and growth hormone were assessed. Eight trained male athletes, meaning mean maximal oxygen uptake. Jesus Christ! They just basically hook these guys up and they just start running, making these guys run. Effectively, this is what I'm imagining in my head. MLKG minus, it's a power minus one. What the? What does this mean? Age 31.5. SD. So. Yeah, okay, sorry guys. Undertook an in, uh, intense interval exercise, treadmill running, probably yeah, of course, protocol to, uh, to exhaustion. Subjects completed a, an average of 15.6 times one minute runs. This interval protocol, wait, 15 one minute sprints. This interval protocol produced significant increase in plasma concentration of SH, SHBG in all form of hormones, all P thing, in immediate post test period. Plasma concentration of hormones increased indicated additional 45%, testosterone 38%, prolactin 230%. Damn! What did prolactin do again? <laughs> A level biology, by the way. Breast to grow? What the? Prolactin. Uh, does prolactin. Prolactin cause in men. What the? Prolactin has also been re reported to decrease androgen receptors and increase estrogen and progesterone in receptors. Guys, are you seeing this? Ain't no way, boy. Prolactin has also been reported to decrease androgen receptors and increase estrogen and progesterone in receptors. And breast cancer can lead to male gynecomastia. No, C clinically high. This is this is thirty percent. I'll sacrifice gladly. I'll get titties for a few years gladly for the two thousand percent growth hormone. God damn! These hormones have established capacity to interact with components of many physiological systems. As such, may provide a mechanism for changes induced by intense exercise. Many so, so the next four years of my life, or the next five years of my life, twenty-one. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT. Hey, GPT, my uncle grew when he by an inch. I'm I want to mention this video, but hey, what the hell would ChatGPT go? Stupid GPT. What the? What the? Biohacking, bro. 
his body. Okay, so would you like to know the exercise that can boost human growth hormone? Previously, sedentary people should only start with a four hour sprint, but they can work out the way to this. Yeah, I just try to start, keep going. Hormone by 771%. Any ideas? Sprinting. Sprinting is one of the most explosive, high intensity interval training type exercises you can do. It's a short bout of full speed running, okay? And I like it because it gives your body a maximum stress with short duration. We're only talking 20 to 30 seconds. And then you want to rest for 90 seconds, okay? And then you want to repeat this and work up to about eight times. I'm gonna put a study down below. You can check out the link. So sprinting can be twice as effective as injecting like human timers. growth hormone. And if you add other things like, it can be twice as effective as injecting human growth hormone. And if you add other things like, decrease your stress level, make sure that you're sleeping better, uh, intermittent fasting, keto, you can really spike growth yeah, hormone. Yeah, ketogenic diet as better, well. Uh, intermittent fasting, keto stress level, make sure that you're sleeping better, uh, intermittent fasting, keto, you can really spike growth hormone big time. So what you want to do is you want to do a short duration, high intensity workout with lots of rest and repeat this because growth hormone is triggered by the high intensity and the longer the duration, the worse the growth hormone because you stimulate cortisol. And if we keep oh. the recovery long, we can allow this process to occur because we don't want to overtrain it's just, it's hacking. the person. I get and it. Of course, if your knees are damaged or you have some type of issue where you can't do sprinting, you can do this on a bike. I can do 30 seconds. I do way more than 30 seconds. I might be triggering cortisol then. Quite interesting. But I do rest a lot though. And I just go like ham as hard as I can. A good 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh, this is very interesting. Or even swimming. All right? Oh, yeah, swimming as well. You can't do sprinting. You can do this on a bike or even swimming. Hey, man! Actually, no, I'm quite busy this weekend. Oh. I'm split. I'm in two minds. Why is bro asking me this? <laughs> this guy said, do you live in the UK? And I said, no, I live in Earth. Funny. I'm really funny, guys. I think I'm really funny. I think I'm, I'm the funniest guy on Earth. I think I'm, I'm the, I think... Okay. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Well, thank you. Now, I always love getting feedback from you on this 9.999. Get this guy to 10 million. Get this guy to 10 million. You almost have 5,000 videos. God damn. Okay, so would you like to know the exercise that can boost human growth hormone by 771%? Any ideas? Sprinting. Sprinting is one of the most explosive high intensity interval training. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm at calorie surplus at the moment. I sleep a lot these days. Like uh, last time, it was, like, I, I only, it was only like um, six hours last night. I woke up quite early. But usually it's like 12 hours, 12 hours of sleep. I, I try to go, become completely exhausted throughout, throughout the day. I want to get the best possible sleep I can and sleep the longest I can. I wake up and I try to sleep again uh, to get the maximized like, HGH, human growth hormone production. My calorie surplus, my uncle kept growing at 20. Jesus Christ, I don't even know what this text, what I said in the text. I'm an idiot, man. Where's Notepad? Hey, Notepad. I actually scoffed video, bro. Don't, don't look, don't look, don't look. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm totally saying it off the top of my head. Not. How can I type more coherently than I can speak? I'm, I'm having consistent exercise. Positive habits like sprinting, good sleep, calorie surplus. I'm currently at an estimated 175 centimeters. There was a girl recently that was 172 or 171 centimeters, and I was exactly like 2 3 centimeters taller than her. So I'm estimating 175, which is roughly five foot nine, but I, I wouldn't say I am five foot nine. It's, it kind of seems like far fetched for me, but I do like I do feel much taller and stronger recently. So yeah, 
the chat GPT, it's chat GPT here, GPT, GPT, G, I don't care, bro. What, it did it crash? Oh my god. It's unbugged. It's unbugged. So bugged. Wi Fi gone. Well, none of my links are working. Only YouTube worked. Oh my god. Massive L. Catch you guys in the next video. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm also relying heavily on my jeans. I already spot my jeans by a lot. My, my biological father, which I do not know. Fatherless child. He was five foot. I am five foot. Six, seven. Well, last time I checked. I am taller, I believe. Heavily, I believe. I can't. I don't have any images. I think I should take more images. Especially on my door. I am much taller than before. And if I can just the exercise, uh, I'll continue to grow taller. I'll continue to do sprinting. I really want to shower. I don't really want to eat food. But I want to sleep as well. I have work to do. Ooh, catch you guys in the next video. That's what I'm doing to get to all the proven results, especially when you're a teenager. Should I say proven results? How to get to all our proven results? I really like this topic. It's a quite an emotionally charged topic for me. Like I, I, I'm very fascinated by this topic. This probably topic. This topic of growing taller and HGH, human growth hormone, and prolactin. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's very interesting to me and I think it's the reason why I chose all science subjects in A-level which ended up me needing to be destroyed by, by, by destroying my mental health which is not very good obviously I I wish I was how do I say this I wish I was active more active younger but I am I've reached a blessed opportunity in which I'm very conscious of this right now, I'm very obsessed with this right now, and I have a divine opportunity of pursuing this right now. Instead of focusing on more arbitrarily, how do I say this, less useful, like, grades. Uh, I just have the fitness in my schedule every single day, just run. I have a workshop, this, this and that, job, traineeship, workshop for like four weeks, like a month, but I'm still going to find time to sprint, get home. After a long day of work, sprint, 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 exercise, of course. Go to the gym, of course. Uh, there's always time in the day. You need to find time and allocate it properly. Really work in the training ship. Try to keep uploading on YouTube. I want to have so many ideas. After I take a shower, I'll probably record a few other videos and upload more videos. Because I have just like, such an idea surplus. Like, I want to make a video, video on that. Like, oh yeah, I've got a bunch of ideas as well. So I'm doing calorie calorie surplus, eating as much as I can. A lot I don't track calories. I always guess only three thousand, four thousand calories straight up bulking. Uh, I went from seventy kilograms of my lightest when I was looking. I was looking quite handsome at seventy kilograms, looking quite lean. But I don't care about looking handsome. I care more about my height, like growing taller, because I can always glow up later on in life, and I can always become more handsome later on in life. And I know I've got that slight Korean boy K-pop look. Which I can take full advantage of later in my life. I can just shred, shred the weight, get a phenomenal shape, and look amazing. That that comes later, not now. Now is the time to grind, to make money, to eat the food, to exercise, to train hard. You know, do the cardio, do the sprinting. You know what I'm saying? I think it's the most important thing right now is to organize my priorities, priorities, and then I think it's the biggest priority I could possibly organize. Okay. This is number one, probably making money. Okay, maybe number two. Yeah, number one, mm, number two. Oh. Man, the lighting is bad. I swear to God, guys, I'm not small. Guys, I'm not small. The lighting is bad. <laughs> I'll catch you guys. I want to say something else as well. I don't know. We're in a 20 minute video. Um, I thought I'd be getting a lot of sunlight as well. I'm following Hamza's routine of getting a lot of sunlight. I drink a lot of multivitamins as well. I always get my supplements in. 
Hamza is like six foot one, he's taller than like the majority of the population. And I just search up Hamza taller. How I grew taller from five foot four to six foot one. Anyone says, oh yeah, genes or puberty, ha ha. But I don't, I don't want to listen to these people. These people, they don't benefit me at all. Bulk up, eat a lot, do weightlifting, get more sleep, get sunlight. It's effectively this. Genetics is 60 to 80%, but stuff 100% helps to get, you, get you more inches higher. Bro, three inches is immensely different. All right, guys? Three inches, all right? You could be, all right, you could be five foot ten. Five foot ten. Okay, guys? And three inches, five foot eleven, six foot, six foot one, three inches. You'd be five foot five, three inches, five foot eight. That's a completely different realm. If you ever seen a five foot eight person comparatively to, comparatively to a five foot five person, those are two different realms, hands down. You, you compare me to my mom already, like, I'm not even like, seeing that one. Like, here, here most. I'm here, dad here. This is because of better nutrition, but exercise, consistent, multitude of factors. I used to swim a lot back in the day, but I think I'm gonna get back to swimming like crazy. But think about getting us focusing on a swim routine as well. I'm serious about this. I'm serious about this, guys. You guys are gonna see me on my journey for the next four years. I'm gonna be uploading to YouTube about my progress, whether that's my uncut channel, whether that's my main channel with the, with the edited videos. Hyper edited video, so it caters to everyone that has a low attention span. Whether it's on my clips, you might see clips of me floating around. Yeah, my height. You're gonna see me grow, literally grow. Seventeen to twenty-one. Watch my work, bro. This is it. Four years, twenty-two maximum. Four years. Is ChatGPT working? Because they gave me a really good answer last time, and they always give me good answers. ChatGPT, oh my god, dude. It's broken. It's crashed. Uh, office bed is down high. Dot, 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 dot. Wait, there's a wait list, so I can't buy it instantaneously, which means uh, what the? Mm. Oh my god! Hurry the hell up, man! Anyways, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. That's exactly what I'm doing. I, I meditate for like half an hour today. I meditate for half an hour. I'm trying to meditate for half an hour in front of the sunlight every single day, looking. You know, I don't look at the direction of the sun, I close my eyes and I look in the direction of the sun to get that D, vitamin D in my bones. That's pretty much it. And uh, that's that's pretty much what I do to grow taller. I want to put some clickbait and thing. How to grow taller? What I'm doing to grow taller? Proven results. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.